All aboard! Welcome to the Storytime Train. Please subscribe to enjoy more books read aloud. Trucker and Train by Hannah Stark Illustrated by Bob Kohler Trucker loved to rule the road. He loved the sound of his engine. He loved the size of his tires. And most of all, Trucker loved his mighty horn. Trucker blasted as he rushed through the city. The moped swayed and gasped. The cars rattled and gulped. The pickup sputtered but followed in awe. Trucker was bigger and stronger and tougher than anyone else on the road. One day, Trucker went hauling far from the city. Up, up, up he trucked, over the mountains and through the clouds. Trucker beamed at the sight of the valley below. He'd never seen such an open land and such endless roads. Whoosh! He cruised down the mountain, letting the breeze cool his hot engine. On the horizon, Trucker spotted a long, strong freight zipping along a track. Who is that? Trucker revved. He shifted into high gear and raced up alongside Train. Trucker blasted at the mopeds. He blurred at the cars. Trucker gawked at the two, four, six, eight, ten cars pulled by the train's big black engine. Tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack. The mopeds were smitten. The cars were captivated. The pickups fell starstruck. But Trucker's tough horn was nothing next to train's engine and whistle. Trucker fumed. His hubcaps blurred. He revved his engine with all his might and proudly pulled ahead of train. Up ahead, two gates closed across the road. Everyone slowed to a stop. Why, Trucker revved. Are we the ones stopping? The moped shook, the car shuddered, the pickups glared, but no one moved for Trucker. Tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack. Train cruised across the junction. The mopeds gleamed, the cars wooed, the pickups swooned. Everyone was fascinated. Everyone except Trucker. Why, Trucker wondered, don't they ever gleam at me? Driving on, Trucker saw a train's track head into a station. He was happy to see the road bend up into the mountains. Up, up, up. Trucker hauled as the moped zipped past. The cars whizzed by and the pickups hurried on without even a glance. Trucker tried to greet them. Trucker tried to play, but no one seemed to notice. No one seemed to care and Trucker suddenly felt smaller than he ever had before. At the top of the mountain, Trucker pulled aside to rest. He watched the mopeds zip around bends. He gazed at the cars coasting along. He smiled at the pickups tracing the ridges. Trucker looked ahead into the valley and saw a train's track reappear out of a tunnel. Oh no, Trucker whispered. There! 
Down below, trains tracks. Another junction. A broken off gate. What if no one notices Trucker trembled? What if no one stops? Whoosh! Trucker hurled down the mountain. The moped swerved, the cars pulled aside. The pickups braked very, very hard. Trucker's freight thrust down the mountain with more speed than ever. Trucker stopped. He turned. He reversed. He turned. He reversed. He had to block the road. Squeak the mopeds. Pipe the cars. Blared the pickups. One by one, they came to a stop and stared Trucker down. Trucker didn't like the beeps or the toots or the honks. He wished the horns would stop. He wished this time the train could chug faster. Tick-a-tick-a-clack, tick-a-tick-a-clack, tick-a-tick-a-clack. Everything rattled. Trucker counted to himself. Two, four, six, eight, Ten. Tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack. Train hurried off around the next bend and out of everyone's sight, and the valley fell silent until. Off in the distance, train let out a long, thankful whistle, and one by one the mopeds began to beep. The cars began to cheer. The pickups began to shimmy. And truckers started off along with the others, happy to share the road. The end. Thanks for riding the Storytime train. Please subscribe for more reading adventures.